question. I just want to say that Elijah, go home. on this night, there are Jews, millions and millions of Jews all over the world doing exactly what we're doing. Sitting down at a feast, honoring the 55th wedding anniversary of Sam and Esther Katz. Some of them think it's a Seder. They really don't know. They're asking the age-old question, why is this night different than every other night? And the answer is, and this comes from the famous, no, this comes from the famous, <laughs> to why this night is different was written by that famous rabbi, it's in this book, uh, Herschel Ben Shmuel, that's Harmon, son of Sam. <laughs> and the answer as to why this night is different is because in 1933, Sam asked Esther, his bride-to-be. Their marriage began without any money. Those depression years were not so sunny. Their love for each other was all that mattered. Marriages then were not easily shattered. Esther found a position as a bookkeeper, better than a computer and a lot cheaper. A room was rented from the singers. How those memories even now do linger. While the singers fought each other, their son rose and set with my mother. Then came a baby so charming, that must be why they named him Harmon. <laughs> Needing space, a move was made to 7th Street. Being spoiled by uncles and grandparents sure was neat. Sharing and caring with Mort, Al, Sealy, Cone was proof that all could live happily under one roof. Of the next event, we must tarry, because it's the birth of Brother Gary. Still amazing, a kid who was such a pest could grow up to be the best. He's so good it hurts deep beneath that one evening I fractured his teeth. <laughs> Those years, though, were trying to be sure because the country was at war. Uncle Sam summoned Daddy Sam to build ships. His presence at home was measured in blips. For years, two jobs did he work, responsibilities he would never shirk. But Gary and I were never neglected. Close family ties remained connected. War over, off to the suburbs in a gray Chevy. Schlepping mayonnaise and pickles, oh, so heavy. <laughs> Trips to Canada and to the shore. Nostalgic, happy memories to store. Next thing you know, along came Elaine. Of this, I really should explain. Although a true beauty had arisen, Uncle Jack asked, was her father ever in prison? <laughs> Inside story. Soon a grandchild, name of Sherry. Oh, how Bubby S. did worry. Is she dry? Is she fed? Even a red ribbon was tied to her bed. Gary was next to make a wise move. Marrying Susan would soon prove that both sons had profound vision and didn't let dowry affect their decision. <laughs> Quickly came Douglas, Alicia, and Michael. Bubby and Pop were on a fast cycle. Visits babysitting became the norm. Completely to grandparents did they transform. As the years passed, you've lost siblings and friends. Wounds developed that are slow to mend. But remember those who love you deeply care. And our best wishes we desire to share for a happy, healthy anniversary. And be sure to stick around for the great-grandchildren's nursery. Everybody, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, dear Esther and Sam. Happy anniversary.